ladies, so it's Kiosh. I'm back for another video. So today I am here to talk about my influenza box. Influenza was nice enough to send me the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. So I um, posted this picture on Instagram right here. And so excited to say that Makeup Forever po reposted my picture on their Instagram page. And I was so excited and so ecstatic that they did that because I was really shocked being a really small YouTuber. You really don't get your pictures reposted or anything like that. You'll get a like or a mention, but they actually reposted my picture and I'm super, super excited for it. So uh, make sure you guys go and like it and um, comment under and stuff like that. <laughs> I'm so silly. I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm so silly, but I was just totally stoked about it. Like... I wasn't looking for that to happen. Um, like I said, Inf Influenza sent me this product. So it's the Ultra HD Makeup Forever um, Foundation. It's their new line. Um, this is the little box that it came in. And I am in the color R530. And so when you open it up, of course, you do have to shake it up before you use it. It's in a super cute bottle. I'll make sure to get a close up. But it looks like this. And I love it because it has a pump on it. So that is great. Now, when I first got this, I was kind of taken aback because I thought I got the wrong shade. Like this shade is so dark compared to my complexion, as you can see, inside of the bottle. And even when I squirted it on my finger, but when I... Actually, I was like, well, let's just use it and let's just see if it's too dark or not. I, it may be a right shade and it may just look dark. You know, us being brown skins girls, we have so many different shades and so many different colors that it's just unbelievable. So, sometimes something looks super, super dark is not as dark as you think it is. Um, so, like I said, I'm in the R, what did I say? R530 and it's this dark. I think it was the darkest shade on there if I'm not mistaken I think it was um but as you can see it actually really perfect for my skin when it goes on don't be alarmed when you see the video it will go on super super dark but for some reason I guess what they call oxidizing or whatever I'm not a guru so I don't know all the terminology but it's sort of like lightened up and blended into my skin and it's sort of like turn the shade that it was supposed to be like it turned the shade of my skin color so i can't say it lightened up but i don't know what whatever this ultra hd is the bomb okay because i don't know how it got to my perfect color but it's my perfect color this is about i've been wearing it since i got it. i think i had about a couple of weeks the first time i wore it was to one of my events and i was telling the young lady i was like it was so hot outside and i was like girl all my makeup is sweating off, blah, blah, blah. Because she was like, girl, I didn't even know you had on no foundation. Like, I wear very simple makeup looks. Like, I do very natural, as much natural as I can. To have a little highlight and some, um, some blush. And I'll do, of course, eyeliner and mascara. But I don't usually wear, you know, like eyeshadows or, um just a whole bunch of, like, bold lippies. Except in the winter. I love my bold lippies in the winter. But I love dark colors. Um, or things like that. So when I do my makeup, I try to be as natural as possible. I hate to have that caked up kind of feeling on my face when I wear makeup. It's just annoying. I hate it. I hate to feel like I just have on a whole face of makeup and I just want to itch and scratch and it just annoys me and my skin. And I have very sensitive skin, so I usually break out a lot easily too. So I don't, that's another reason why I don't wear a lot of makeup. But this I have been using for almost uh, a week two to three weeks and this stuff right here is the truth i'm telling y'all this stuff is amazing so they sent this in the box and then they also sent me two other things i'm not really sure what they are because i think i lost the card that came in the box i apologize there was a card in here but i don't know where it is i tried looking for it but i might have threw it out by mistake i apologize but it says makeup forever professional ultra a through Oh, Invisible Cover Foundation. So they sent me two more shades, I guess, just to maybe if this wasn't my perfect shade, I can mix it with this or mix it with that to make it darker or lighter or whatever the case may be. So they sent me, this is Y505, and then they sent me Y445. And I don't know how it goes on their color line, if these are the shades 
it seems like it's two shades before this one. It has to be because I want to say this was the darkest shade. So maybe these are two shades before or maybe they sent me the lightest shades to kind of lighten this up if it didn't match. But I think it matched perfectly. Um, maybe I can use these as highlighters or whatever. I really don't do highlighting either. So I don't know. I, maybe I can figure something to use these out. Maybe under, you know, under your eyes or something. Just if you're having a really bad day, look real tired, you just want to bring yourself up that'll work but yeah so um and so i want to talk to you guys about how i got that look and i'm super excited to share it with you guys so if you like these types of video please make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure you guys subscribe and make sure you share this with all your friends make sure you follow me on my social medias my website instagram snapchat all of that and without further ado let's just get into the video
Okay, you guys, so that was the demo. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So, I put that makeup on, I want to say, around 11, between 11 and 11 30 is how long it took me to put my makeup on because we left the house at 12 to go over to my aunt's house. So, it is now 10 36 p.m. on Labor Day um, weekend, Monday of Labor Day, so September the 4th. And this is what the makeup looks like. I have not done any touch ups, I have not. I did blot a little bit with like a napkin when I was at my auntie's house because it was hot. It was like 84 to 80, between 85 and 90 today and um, I was outside in the sun and so I did like pat my face with napkin but I did not put on any more um, powder or anything like that. I didn't touch up this. I did touch up my lipstick but I didn't touch up like any blush or highlighter or even the foundation itself at all and this is what it looks like you guys and I have been wearing this all day and when i say i still feel so comfortable in this makeup like usually when i get home I'm like oh i'm so ready to take this makeup off but i don't watch tv i don't lay down i don't play with my daughter we don't pick out clothes for school tomorrow we don't uh you know wash dishes you know ate our plates you know you gotta have a good leftover plate that you take home that take home plate we don't have take home plates we don't have cake and everything and now I'm getting ready to settle down and um, wash this off. But before I wash it off, I want you guys to see how it looks. It still looks amazing. I may have a little bit of like sweating on my face because it's just hot in here. But even after I got through like sweating and blotting, once I got under the AC and in a cool environment, it basically just tight back up like it just was perfect i don't know how to explain it it was just so perfect and i see this as being like one of my new favorite foundations like y'all know i really don't even wear foundation but this makeup forever though it's a shiznit okay so if you haven't tried it get your hands on it get you a sample whatever you need to do to try it out but this is actually really really good and like i say if you follow me on my insta stories i said how most people say that you know you have invisible foundation it's so light you can't tell it's on it's so light it just looks natural and i have tried those types of foundation and that mess do not look natural it isn't light you still have to pack it on if you saw from the video i only put on like maybe two one and a half coats i can't remember i think either two or one and a half coats like i remember putting some on my face and then putting extra like on my cheeks because i have a little bit of dark spots and then an extra here because i have you know dark circles under my eyes a little bit but i think i put like one and a half coat on and i mean it's like it looks like full coverage makeup without all the heavy cakiness like yes <laughs> so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you guys give it a thumbs up i want to thank makeup forever and influencer for sending me this product for review and i'll see you guys next time bye